Well, Rick Springfield on the slide in the house. So, Rick, so you, this is kind of a nice little comfy little studio in here. You kind of make demos in here, or do you really? No, we've recorded yeah, like eight albums in here. Yeah, nowadays you can do a Yeah, we, we go, we go to. Talk of a uh, car, you can do a record. Yeah, we go to East West to do drums so you get, you know, the big yeah. room. And then we do everything here. We've got a vocal booth, with guitars, and. And, you know, all Class A gear and uh, send it out to be mixed. And it's uh, they're the best sounding record I've done so far. This is awesome. You know, when you're in your own house. Yeah, it's great. You'll walk out in the kitchen and you're home. And and you get inspired and you're at the studio yeah, already. Because right, right, right. <laughs> by the time you get inspired living out here, you get to the studio, your, your, the inspiration what was I is gone. Yeah, man. But no, it's very, I think I think any creative person needs a creative environment in their house. Yeah, a that's painter, a great place. You know, I did Mellencamp and... Uh, on one of these shows, and he's into painting so much. And the first, we did it in his studio. And I walked into his painting studio. I'm going, wow, a real artist lives here. And right. that's, that's the way I look in here. I go, wow, a real recording guy. Real yep. guy. Okay, so I've done everything for you. Let's just kind of jam a little bit. You had the different ending the way you did it. Other than that, they, the song was, we kind of did it sort of the same. I think you did it a little more punk than me. Mm hmm. For some reason, it's, yours seemed like a little more, you know. Gun, 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 yeah, gun, gun, gun. with more eights, you know, yeah. driven eights, yeah. Yeah, that's straight down, grang, gang, 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 gang. Well, I wrote this song thinking about the punk movement. I thought all of a sudden I was going to say, oh, well, I can be a punk, you know, if that's what it's going to take to make it. <laughs> right? All it takes is three chords and an attitude. Right? <laughs> yeah, so this was an attitude, but anyway, let's just try a little bit of it, if you don't mind, yeah. You're going to play slide, though. This is going to be interesting. I fucked up. I tried to go to a Harvard and I couldn't get back down. <laughs> <laughs> you keep that though. I'm okay with that being an outtake. Don't get yep. me wrong, but that's just, just get, I never done this. First time I've ever took a second take. I could not let that. I could not let that go. No. <laughs> Whoa. Hey. No. It's. Uh, I thought you were going like an octave high. I go. Wow. He can sing high. How about if I say I don't know what I was doing? Okay, Rick. Go ahead. <laughs> Just take it, I can't take it to see Well, I'm giving up on love this time Me and my friends will do just fine I've done everything for you You've done nothing for me I've done everything for you Woo! You've done nothing for me You've done nothing for me Well, you know someday I'll have a whole lot of money I'll be a millionaire But when that didn't happen overnight I found out how much you really care Well, all you want is a whole lot of money All the rest is jiving, honey How I've done everything for you You've done nothing for me I've done everything for you You've done nothing for me You've done nothing for me money back. Uh. <laughs> Rick. So, Rick, you've lived in, in Malibu for since 1985. That's when I moved here in Van Halen. That's... And lived probably a couple miles away. Yeah, yeah. And, and we never ran into it? No, I know. I mean, that's bizarre. You say you don't hang. No, I don't hang. Wow. <laughs> okay. What do you do, Rick? Because you got a heavy mystique. I mean, you know, when I tell people I'm doing this, there's so many people who say, oh, wow, man, he's like this and he's like that. I'm saying, I don't know what he's like, you know? It's like, is, is he an actor? Is he a, is he a, a rock star? You know, I mean, is he, I, we don't know what you do, Rick. So what do you do, like, on your time off when you're not working I don't really have time off. Oh. I, I don't like time off. When I'm at home, I'm writing. When I'm on vacation, I take a guitar and write. I, I just, it's, I'm not the guy that can go sit on the beach, you know, and just kind of hang back. So 
I'm probably in the wrong area. Oh, I'm going to have to take some words back. I said on the drive here, I looked in the camera, I was pointing to the beach, and I was saying, anybody that says they ain't down with the beach, I said, I can't trust them. I am totally down with the beach. Oh, you're okay I, with I, it. I was born in Australia. I was born in Australia, <laughs> mate, so i got to be down with the beach. You know, that's all the... Yeah, that's all the real it's estate big, there is. It's a big beach. No, I love the beach, but but I just it's hard for me because I have I just my mind I, is always gone and so I just to lie there in the on you know in a hammock or something is very hard for me to do. So when did you come from Australia? Now that part I don't know. What 72. Wow. wow. So 72. So I was 3. No. Well, what happened to your accent? Every now and then it just popped up. I know, mate. A couple of beers that comes right oh, out, you know. Do you so, drink? Uh, what, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I trust you even more now. <laughs> Well, then we could hang. Yeah. But so you got a new record. You you, you did, and it's it's kind of dark and bluesy. That's what I'm 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 feeling, and I'm thinking, what? Yeah, that's yeah, Rick Springfield. Like, you're more like a rock pop star. Of I all know. Time. That's, that's, well, because you know you can do whatever you want at this point, and yeah. you got you got to write whatever you you feel. What do you think about the state of the music industry because of that? I mean, uh, see, I'm, I, I'm pissed off. Yeah. About it. There's no rock radio anymore. Yeah. So that's total. I mean, there's the station dedicated to. You know, uh, era rock, but there's you know there's no new station that will play new rock, and that sucks. I never thought rock would ever go out of fashion. Who knew? But you'll go out and play live the new song. Well, I love to tour, so you know I still love to play live. And can we sit in here? Yeah. So Rick, when I pulled up here, you handsome devil, you said something about, oh, don't worry, I'm an actor. You called yourself an actor. Yeah. Well, Over I... everything else. Uh, no, I mean, I, I'm a musician first, I mean, obviously, but, but acting, I, I, I got into acting because I thought I wasn't, you know, between record deals, I thought, well, I'll make money by being an actor, which is really friggin' insane, because all the kids <laughs> in the acting class were waiting tables before they got acting gigs, right? But I actually did support myself uh, for a while uh, before rec the records thing kicked in. Um, well, General Hospital, wasn't that before you were a musician? Or no, before you were no. a fam you weren't famous? No, no, famous. But, I, but I'd already recorded Working Class Dog. I'd already had three albums out before uh, in America. Uh, I'd already recorded the album, and then I just happened to get this, de this soap opera, and I said, I don't know if, and Keith, actually, Olsen, who produced Jesse's Girl and Obda and everything, said, dude, you don't need to do this. This is a good record. And I was worried about the record, because I, Hadn't wow. had a hit in a while, you know. See, I thought the General Hospital was the biggest thing. That was one of the biggest shows ever in yeah, history. Yeah, but I thought it was just old blue-haired ladies ironing. I thought, no one's going to, this is not going to connect ever to my music. And it happened to be, then, become, you know, the biggest show of the summer. It was insane. I mean, I had no idea it was going to happen. Yeah, no, you brought the youngness to the thing. And man, I would imagine we were, we're like chicks chasing you down the street and stuff. Yeah, it was great. I know, I mean, I heard horror stories. Well... No, I wouldn't call them horror stories, but I heard horror it. stories. Yeah. <laughs> no, well, did you? I mean, do you enjoy acting as much as jumping up on stage? I, I do. It's very similar. Actually, I, I liken it more to writing a song because it's more studied. You know, the, the stage scenes. You know, you get up there and it's a party and it's nonstop, and then you go and it's over. But with acting, you know, this cuts, it takes, the different takes, and moving closer, all that kind of thing. It's more like a, a song where you'll, you know, move things around. You'll take a couple of br breaks and but it's really it's very satisfying like when you've written a song and you feel like yeah I think I nailed that when you do a take and you really think you got it uh, it's it's incredibly satisfying I to bet me. I just felt that when you just said that it's like yeah see I've never experienced that you know I mean I've, I've done videos where God knows they weren't great takes oh my god <laughs> God knows they weren't great I takes I see some of these videos oh. and go what the fuck was I thinking so what do you like doing best acting TV, let's say, let's say a movie, TV, or rock and roll. Well, I, I, I if I had to do one thing, it would be, yeah. it would be writing, because I, I've written a couple of books that luckily I was very, that have been successful, and I love the whole writing process. I love songwriting. I still write songs, and it's my greatest joy, because you can do it without. You don't need an audience. You don't need to be hired by somebody. It's just. You, you know, it's you do it by yourself. Yeah, it's, it's true. Totally, I, I love writing too. Yeah, I, I get that. Good songs, something I really believe it comes through. You, you know, Pete Townsend, who's one of my all-time favorites, said, Mine too. Uh, "You almost, you just have to get out of the way." 
is really what it is and let yeah. it come through. And I, yeah, it is out of the ether. It's so funny. Everybody says, how'd you do that? I go, I don't know. I don't know. It came to me. You're I right. know. Say, why don't you write another Jesse Girl? Uh, yeah. I would if I knew how. <laughs> exactly. It just yeah. happened, you know. Yeah, we're not formula guys, I don't think, you know. How, how have you dealt with startup? Do you like it? Is it okay? Are you okay with it? Or, or is it just too much for you on that level? Um, most of the time, it, it's good. I mean, you know, as a kid, I saw the Beatles when I was 14. Wow. I and song. said, I, that's what I want. I want to be up there playing a guitar and having girls screaming and guys going, they're freaking awesome. I mean, you know, so part of that is, is you know, is the, is the attention. I mean, I realize now it's all about them and I'm still playing because I am lucky enough to have fans like you are that, that still want to hear what you have to, to say or to perform or whatever. And it's really all about them, and I totally get that. Part of my drive is I've never felt like I was enough, and, and that's still part of my drive. That's why I still, I think, why I still keep writing and everything is because I'm, I'm trying to prove to myself or to others that I am, you know, I'm not the jerk that I really think I am, you know? But now the, 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 the ultimate story is, is the, the I've done everything for you, like I've always been bragging forever, that, you know, that you, I mean, that I wrote a song that somebody else had a big hit with, you know, but... No, that I, is great. I, I get that vibe. It's... What I don't like to tell him is that it wasn't a hit for me first. I said, no, I wrote it for him. It was like, no. Yeah, I didn't even record it. No, I But it was You so... didn't like... The version I heard was a live version, yeah. right? It started out with the drum, yeah. that kind of thing. Yeah, right? we put it on a live album first, and yeah. then I went back and re-recorded it as a studio and only released a single. Mm -hmm. It wasn't on an album, and it, and it bombed, you know. But uh, I can't blame anything else but you know like I used to always tell people that I asked you why it, it was a hit for you not for me you said dude I'm better looking than you <laughs> and, and then that was a shutdown because I thought well at least he's right you know about that but no <laughs> the soap so, opera didn't didn't hurt or, or Jesse's girl you know yeah it all, it yeah all, Jess, Jesse's it was girl all was, part of the thing and it was the right song well, I never got paid so I'm here to collect no <laughs> What it, so, Rick, what's next for you? What do you, th you know, you did that movie with Meryl Streep. This is uh, unbelievable that, you know, that you did a movie. That's the last time I saw it. was at Chelsea's last TV show. Yep. Yes, Chelsea, yes, that's, that's the last right. And with, you were uh, just about Grohl, to Dave do Grohl. that movie. And you told me, I said, what are you doing? You say, hey, I'm doing a, got to, uh, doing a movie or about to do a movie with Meryl Streep. I go, what the fuck? Yeah. Wait, hello, wait, when did you get in that league? How the hell did that happen? It was awesome. And with oh, Jonathan Demme, be. too. How much did you learn from that? Come on. I learned how, I, my act, I think I, I've loved it even more because she was so brave. She is so brave as an actor. She seems like that. She doesn't have anything to yeah. prove. And just doing scenes with her, she'd change things around and, and she'd listen to, to Jonathan if he'd, you know, have, which I thought, what do you say to Meryl Streep? You know, you know what? You need to do, right? So, because Jonathan Demme was a god. Sadly, he's gone yeah. now, but he was. God, he was an amazing human being. The reason I got it was because they wanted a guy who was an actor and had real acting chops, but also had guitar chops because he didn't want to do, Jonathan didn't want to do lip syncing. He said, I want it all to be live, and it was all live. But we did American Girl, right? It was the opening song, and uh, which he also included in uh, Silence of the Lambs, which he did, which is a, one of my all-time favorite movies. But yes. we do American Girl, and, and I'm at the, this throat doctor in Beverly Hills, like, I don't know, a couple of years ago. And this guy walks in, he goes, hey, uh, Rick, right? I go, yeah. He goes, uh, and I'm hard of hearing. I go, sorry, dude, I missed that. He said, what? He said, I'm Tom Petty. <laughs> and I said, I go, oh, oh, man, sorry. Uh, look, listen, man, yeah. Tom, come on, man. And God rest his soul, boy. He said, what a I love what you did with the song in the movie. And I went, holy shit, that's amazing. You didn't recognize him? He, he didn't. I, I, would, I just wasn't expecting it. You know, he had dark glasses and a hat, and I, it could have been anybody. One of the greatest American songwriters totally of all time. Totally. Incredible. Yeah. Incredible wow. writer. Well, but it was, so anyway, that, that but was... But what are you going to do now? That's what I say. So what do you, what's next for you? I know you got the new record. Yeah, um, touring, and I want to do more much. acting. We're looking for more acting stuff. But in your personal life, is there things that you like to do? Is... I mean, I'd like to do better things. You know, now, uh, now I'm not so self-consumed. I'd like to do more, you know, char I do stuff charity-wise for you know, animals and children stuff. But I'd like to be more uh, more forceful in that in that area, you know, because I know you do great stuff with that, and it's it's makes very you, important for your soul. It makes you feel good, you yeah. know, given, given... We've got to give back. You and, have and, to. And the, the, who's ever had been lucky enough to be successful in any era to whatever era or whatever, to whatever degree, you, you, you know, giving back is the most powerful thing you can do. And 
And I'd love to be more active in that, I guess. Yeah. Come on, Rick Springfield in the house. I'm, I'm so happy.